Hi there. If you're watching this screencast, chances are you found it in the Eventbrite Tickets new user primer on the Tribe website, where it's the first of four videos meant to familiarize you with how the Eventbrite Tickets add-on works, how it integrates with the events calendar, and how it integrates with your WordPress site as a whole. Now since this is the first video in that series, we're going to be focused on the basics of getting the add-on installed and activated and ready for use so that when you come back down the road and want to set up ticketed events, you're in a position to do so. There are a few steps we have to go through first, and that's what I want to review right now. Now I'm assuming that by this point, you have already purchased and downloaded the Eventbrite Tickets add-on from the Tribe website. It should be saved somewhere easily accessible on your computer, preferably your desktop, and should still be in the zip file format that it downloaded as. I'm also assuming that you have downloaded, installed, and activated the events calendar. You'll notice if I go to my plugins list, I am running the events calendar, and it's the current release, which is 2.05. If you're running a pre-2.05 release, the Eventbrite Tickets add-on will not work. It's also important to note that you do not need to have Events Calendar Pro active. You'll see that I don't right here. You certainly could, and it would give some of the nice additional Pro functionality that would integrate well with the Eventbrite Tickets add-on, but it's not required and don't feel like you need to buy Pro in order to run Eventbrite. For the purpose of this screencast and some that follow it, I am only going to be running the Events Calendar. So we're good to go now, but I need to actually, of course, install the Eventbrite. I have the core, which is required. Now let's get the add-on going. I'm going to hit Add New. Select that file that I saved when I downloaded it from the Tribe website. Install now. And when it says plugin installed successfully, I'm ready to go. I'm going to hit this activate plugin link. And now when I go to my active plugins list, I indeed have two. The events calendar and the events calendar Eventbrite tickets. But there's this message telling me that there's an update and that I need to add my license key to enable automatic updates. You also, if you want to access the support and have our support team help you out, will need to have a key in place as well. So it's probably good to plug that in if you bought it. Let's go over to the Tribe website and get that key. Once I'm logged in with the credentials I set up during the checkout process, I'm going to come to the Account Central dropdown, and I'm going to go to the License Keys tab. Now don't worry about the fact that this site we're looking at here is dev.tribe. This is just because the plugin hasn't actually launched yet, and so we haven't pushed this out. When it goes live, you'll be working on the Tribe website without the dev present, and it's going to be the exact same process as what I'm showing you right now. On my license keys list, I have all the keys I've ever purchased, which is pretty extensive, but I'm going to scroll down to where I see the Eventbrite tickets license that I just purchased a few minutes ago. Here it is, here's the key, and I see that it's not tied to anything. I'm just going to actually copy the key itself in its entirety, go back over to the back end of my site, go to settings, the events calendar, and hit this licenses tab. It says that I do need to have a license key for Eventbrite tickets, and it's worth noting that if I had multiple pro license required plugins active, all their fields for the license keys would be appearing on this list. That means that if you're running events calendar pro, community events, and the Eventbrite tickets add-on, all three of those will have a field right here for you to plug in the license key. Let's just drop in what we just copied, let the system work its magic for a minute, and we'll see that it's a valid key. It expires just about a year out. We're in good shape so far. I'm going to save my changes, and I've got a valid key in place. So let's try to set up an Eventbrite event. I'm going to scroll down to just underneath Event Organizer Details, Eventbrite Integration, but wait, I'm still missing something. I don't have my Eventbrite API key. I need to plug that into my profile page, and so what I'm going to go do is open up Eventbrite.com. If you've already set up an Eventbrite account, your Eventbrite.com homepage is probably going to look pretty similar to this. It's going to be your My Events page. You might not have all these events that I'm looking at, but you will be on a page that looks very similar to this, and you're going to come over to the Account section. From the sidebar, find the API user key. Here it is. Just copy the string of numbers again and go back to the back end of your site. I'm going to click this link over to my profile page. I could also, of course, access it in the upper right hand side of the page if I wanted to. And I'm going to scroll to the very bottom of my profile page where I now see I have this Eventbrite user account field. Drop it in. Save. And now if I go to set up a new event, the Eventbrite tickets options should be available. Let's take a look. Indeed, now I can register with Eventbrite, hit yes, and all these options appear. We'll cover these in a separate screencast, 
but this is the basics of getting the plugin installed, activated, and your keys plugged in. You're now ready to go, and now let's move on to the next screencast. Thanks for watching so far.